That 12 trap breakdown is one of the world's best kept secrets. And that's something um, that One West had uh, completely correct. And let, let's get some understanding. They say it's all a facade, and that there's really no supreme God. They say it's all a coincidence. To me, I believe though the ratio is called fingerprints. It's laid out in the sequence. It's mathematics that creates the matrix. It's designed by intelligence to disobedient those evolutionary idiots. I'm talking about the atheists, the hatingists. That's why we keep on making hits. We do this for the most glorious and don't forget about the kids teach about the torah and who really built the pyramids teach about your howard shot and the color of his skin the brother was darker than wesley slings but that's a fact that many might not like the said before they killed him he said that in the future men are going to come before you and they are going to tell you that you are the lost sheep of the house of israel malcolm said out of his own mouth i tell you believe them is deep believe we the sheep of the house of Israel. Do you know how good it feel to know that God real? Recognize when you see that seven branch hanging. We ain't about camp banging. Some study DNA and Ellis genealogy. Others use the brown paperback policy. Obviously for years I knew we was part of prophecy. Fled Madrid, a birthright hit. 400 year bid. Porter riches, Ponce de Leon, shallow graves and ditches. The Spaniards call quest for riches and sick Disgusting, let's have an honest discussion without any cussing and talk about the abomination of the nation. We fit every curse situation, gon' get worse. The most high's firstborn, Jeremiah 31, night verse. Ephraim got brothers in there that look just like Esau, the devil, the white man. Yet many of them are our brothers and sisters. Ephraim is the Puerto Rican, but the original Puerto Rican were black as dark. It was the most high to scatter this Shiloh to gather this, born in Bethlehem and raised. Raised up in Nazareth, the image of the Father in all righteousness. Heir to the throne, but they made Christ the myth. Why is this? The enemy is showing his hate for me. Right in front of our face, but we vote for them faithfully. What a lowdown and messed up state to be. It's gonna change, but we have to wait patiently. Can't live in peace because they profile racially. Their justice system has no justice in them. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for. But Christ take them down, they won't oppress us no more. More, all hail our king, he's taking his crown back. Jewels that I drop in the form of a soundtrack. Food for thought, praying that the savior comes quick. Northern tribes, southern tribes is really just one stick. The 12 tribes sign is up to date. We've had white guys come up to us 30 years ago. Get out and fix white guys and get out the limousine and downtown now and point to the sign and say, How did you guys find out? And so we said, what do you mean? He said, that sign. How did you find out the information? We paid billions of dollars to get that. There's a book out now, a white scholar wrote that went and did research on Mexico, and it came back to the same conclusion that we come to, that the Mexicans are the lost tribe of Issachar. Look, Israelites are not perfect. We have committed sin on this earth like every other nation and every other man. It's just a difference that we're God's chosen people. <clears throat> Shalom, peace, peace to the family. Once again, it's your brother, Priest Daniela, Lions of Israel, Maccabees Alliance Council. And as y'all can see by the title, I'm actually just doing a, doing a little bit of a test today. I'm trying out some software that I should have been had, I should have been using. I'm trying to move a little bit away from using Google Hangouts when I do my live streams, unless I have a guest. Um, so I'm just trying out some new software. So pardon me for any you know, mishaps that might happen during the live stream. But how's everybody doing today? How do I sound, first of all? If the sound is okay, brothers and sisters, put a one in the comments and let me know that I sound okay. Put a one in the comments and let me know I sound okay if I sound okay. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> what you were just listening to, you were just listening to one of the songs from my album. Um, the name of the album is called War Hymns. Y'all can see my website right there. You can see the cursor right now on the website. Um, the, my website is wakeupjacob12.com. So if you get a chance, you can go there. You can listen to snippets from the entire album, as well as if you're into um, just, you know, uh, Israelite gear, apparel, etc. 
you know, you can check us out right here. Wake Up Jacob 12. That's the website. Um, and this is the website right here. We have T-shirts available. We have the Hebrew crowns, like the ones I'm wearing, available. We have music available, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So just go ahead and check it out, with brothers and sisters, when you have a chance. Okay. All righty. So we got that out the way. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, so today's video that I'm going to talk about today, really quickly, right, is I'm going to talk today about our children. Now, the first thing I want to say um, is that I would advise anybody that's looking at this video, if you have children next to you or within the vicinity, you may not want them to hear this. So you may want to go in another room or ask them to go into another room. But we're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about our children today and the state of our people. Because we got to keep it real. A lot of times we like to get on social media and argue about irrelevant stuff when our people, as a people, we're sick. We're sick as a people. We have a lot of work to do. When we go out the highways and the byways, people wonder why do we speak so harshly or hard to our people? Because sometimes love is harsh. Sometimes love is not patting somebody on the back or rubbing them on the back and telling them how wonderful they are. Sometimes it is. Sometimes to love somebody is to tell them great things about themselves and rub them on the back and pat them on the back and tell them that they're a great person. But sometimes when you love somebody and you see them destroying themselves, you have to talk about it. And it's obvious that nobody wants to talk about a lot of the issues that's facing our people except the Israelites. So that's what we have to do. Today we're going to talk about our children. This particular video was um, inspired by something that I saw Tommy Sotomayor do. Now, I'm not saying that I'm a supporter of everything that Brother Tommy Sotomayor does, but this is bigger than him. This is bigger than him. I'm more or less looking at the video that he showed, which I'm going to play, along with other, other videos, and I'm going to show you the state of our children today. Because we are in a serious, serious, serious situation with our children today. All right. A lot of times we as adults, we want to be friends with our children. We want our children to be our peers. We care whether or not our children like us, so forth and so on. But in some instances, you can't be that way. You have to be the parent. And your child has to be the child. And sometimes your children are not going to like you. And sometimes they're going to love you to death. That's the way it is. I remember as a child sometimes when I couldn't stand my mother. And my father, I couldn't stand them when they disciplined me. I was mad. I remember times as a child when I would say that when I become a man, I'm not going to discipline my children. I'm not going to do it. I remember saying that as a child. But when I grew up, reality set in. When you have your own children, reality sets in. Okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you guys a couple of videos. And again, we're just doing this as a test. Really, that's why I'm doing this topic. Just as, just as a test. I'm going to play you a couple of videos of our children and the state of our children and what's going on. And I just want to ask some really, really serious questions about what's going on with our children. I'm going to start off with this video right here. Again, if you have children within an earshot of this video, or if you're sensitive yourself, you may not want to watch this video. Okay. This is the state of our children. So the name of this video is called Badass Ultimate Little Kid. All right. Now, I want you to listen to this child, and I want to talk about this particular video. Let's go. Let's play it. All right? Hopefully, you brothers and sisters can hear it. Peace and blessings to everybody that's on the live. I see uh, my brother, Dwayne Yosef, as always. I see Truth Pusher. I see the leader for Christ. I see Tamika Yevra. I see the usual suspects, man. Yeah, like I said, I'm just here just testing this out. This is the very basic bare bones of this, um, this program that I'm trying out. So just bear with me. I'm just basically doing a little test. Let's go. Let's go. So the first problem, the first problem is, is that he's surrounded by what looks to be like teenagers. And this little kid that can't be more than about, I say, what, eight, eight, seven, eight, nine. He's cursing up a storm and the teenagers that surround him, they're all laughing. They think it's cute. 
and they pulled out their cell phones and they're filming it. Because that's what niggas do. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. That's what world star hip hop is all about. When something crazy goes on, a Negro reaches for his cell phone and takes a video and rushes to upload it to YouTube or rushes to upload it to world star to get views and likes. Because everything to a Negro is funny. So they think this is funny. Let's go. Y'all hear what this little kid is saying? He's asking the person with the camera, why you got that SHIT in my face? Then he said, move, nigga. Then he said, somebody jacked my SHIT talking about his bike. He's talking like, th like this is normal for him. Where's the adults? Where's the parents? And the teenagers that are in the background, they laugh and they think this is funny. And a lot of parents think stuff like this is funny. It's sad. But this is the state of our people right now. Like I said, if you're sensitive, this may not be the video for you. Now, let me say this too, right? Well, you know what? Let me finish playing the video, then I'm going to say what I got to say. Let's go. So now, y'all saw that, right? That's y'all might say, you know what? That's disgraceful. The average person would say, look at that video, that's disgraceful. But you want to know what's more disgraceful than that video? Y'all want to know what's more disgraceful than that video? The comments. The comments are more disgraceful. Now, some people have some sense, but let's look at some of the comments. Let's look. Let's look at the state of our people right now, right? So the first person says one word sick. Correct. Right? Second person. I was laughing just in the first 25 seconds when he said, get out my way and watch me do some ultimate S-H-I-T, L-O-L. So 302 Rel said he was laughing at the video. He thinks this is funny. He thinks this is funny. Let's move on. Damn, they moved though. So in other words, this person doesn't have a problem with what the child says. He's just amazed that when the child said move, they moved. <laughs> okay. Then somebody says cursing but can't even stand straight. Funny though. So again, do y'all see what's happening here? Our people think this is funny. That's why it's on camera. That's why it's on YouTube. That's why videos like this go to World Star because we as a people, we our sense of humor tells us that our children acting like monsters is funny. Thus the name of the video. Second Ezra chapter five, verse eight, it says menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. A child like that, if he continues down his path, by the time he's in his teens and his 20s is going to be a monster. He's going to be a monster straight up and down. And it's sad as hell. OK, let's move on. Let's see. Uh, look at a few more comments. This person right here. What's his name? Uh, Gallat Saray Ataturk says, man, that kid's funny. <laughs> you see the mentality of our people? I don't, you know, I can't even say our people because some of these are Edomites. Some of these are white people too on the comment boards. Nonetheless, people find entertainment in this. This is where America is in 2018 going into 2019. Now, let's talk about something like this, right? Now, you have, and sisters, pardon me, because I'm not talking about all our sisters. So understand there's an old saying that says, if it don't apply, 
Let it fly. If what I'm about to say doesn't apply to you, don't take no offense, right? You have a lot of children like this that live with single black mothers. And that single black mother will go out and she'll get a boyfriend and bring the boyfriend in the house. And the boyfriend has to contend with a little monster like this, right? And the boyfriend will, after a while, be sick and tired of this little monster right here that doesn't have a father that's being raised by the streets. And he'll put hands on that child. I don't necessarily support that. Let me be real clear. I don't necessarily support that. But this is what happens. Let's be real. This is what happens. When you have a child that talks like that, when that mother goes out and gets another man if she's not with the father, that other man is going to have to contend with this child. And when that child speaks to him, stop, because if that child is used to curse, you think that little child's not going to curse the man out? And that man's going to put hands on that child. Then you're going to see him on the news. You're going to see the man on the news because he put hands on the child, maybe even went as far as killing the child. That's what happens nowadays. Because we don't see stuff like this. This is off, man. We can't be our children's friend. This is absolutely disgusting what you just saw right there. All right? Leader for Christ says, if he makes it to a teenager, that's true. If this child actually even makes it to be a teenager, because at the rate this child is going, he may not make it, man. But let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's look at another one, right? Now, this one, like I said, I, got, I watched this one from on Tommy Sotomayor's channel. I tried to look for the original video. I couldn't find it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play the video from Tommy's channel because I think it's worth a watch. I think it's worth a watch. Let's listen to this child right here. Let's see what this child has to say. Check it out. Check it out. Guys, apparently the next story, somebody sent it to me. And this story... Um, and I want you to do me another favor. Don't send me stuff without references to what it is, because I'm live. So if you send me something, because I didn't know what this was, and I'm not going off on you, brother, but I'm telling you, if you're not going to tell me what the fuck you're sending me, don't send me shit. You should be able to tell me what's <clears throat> in this thing, so I will be able to know while trying to do this on the fly why it's important, why I should do it now. Does that make sense, guys? Hopefully it does. It makes sense at that point that you tell me why I should do this. If you just send me a fucking link, I don't know what it is. Apparently, this is supposed to be some man called telling, I don't know. Let's just hear it about putting the baby daddy on child support. Let's go. Listen. I wasn't in Amsterdam. I was fucking a chick from Amsterdam. Remember the tall chick with the big breasts? She brought me this shirt. She brought me all kinds of stuff. Let's not pay attention to Tommy. Sorry about that, but let's watch the video. What should I do? Tell your mama to put that motherfucker on child support. Fuck his ass. Straight up. He, bitch, I don't know why the fuck you looking at me like that. That nigga won't go buy his whole stuff before his motherfucking child. Put that nigga on child support. Fuck him. No, man. You're doing Put that nigga on child support. No, you shut the fuck up, bitch. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> He don't want to go buy you shit, but he won't go buy these hard shit. So put the man on child support. Yeah, got that get that bitch. Mm. <clears throat> I ain't fucking with that. Shut the fuck up. I ain't ask you to fuck with it, bitch. Yes, sir. My motherfucking response. Not your... Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what can I even say about that, right? Let me say this. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Do this in a way where I don't offend sisters. Again, sisters, if this if it don't apply, let it fly. I'm not talking about you. That dude, that little dude right there, sounds like a scorned black woman. That's how he sound. That's how he sound. He's been listening to his mother and every other female, probably his family, his auntie and everybody else, talk about dude. Maybe those women that in, that's in his family have deadbeat fathers. There'd be baby's fathers. Maybe that's what it is. And he's been listening to that stuff for so long that now he sounds like a dead, beat, uh, like a scorned black woman. That's exactly how this child sounds. That is terrible. That's terrible. On top of the vulgar language the child is using, if that's not bad enough, if that's not bad enough that there's an adult sitting there filming this and laughing in the background while the child is talking like that. If all that is not bad enough, this child is already talking about child support 
when his behind might grow up and be on child support. Because you do realize that there are men out here that take care of their children that are put on child support anyway by certain women, not all women, but certain women that are scorned, that want to be vindictive and evil. They'll put a man on child support that's already taking care of his child. So there's no guarantees a boy like this, even if he grows up, even if he has a father that doesn't take care of him, even if he's seen that his father doesn't pay child support, there's no guarantee that if he grows up and is a good father and takes care of his children, there's no guarantee that he is behind will not end up on child support. And he's going to look back at this video and he's going to feel stupid. But this is the type of children that we raise in. What type of mother would allow their child or father or uncle or aunt or whoever's in the background would allow their child to sit there and talk like that? And he's telling the adult to shut. What? Let's watch that again. I'm sorry. What? That's crazy. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. What should I do? Tell your mama to put that motherfucker on child support. Fuck his ass. Straight up. He, bitch, I don't know why the fuck you looking at me like that. That nigga. Wait a minute. He called, listen, did, did, did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Did, no, did y'all hear that? Whoever is behind the camera, he called them a B-I-T-C-H. And that adult holding the camera sat there and laughed at it. Let's listen to that. I'm sorry. This is this is crazy. Mama to put that motherfucker on child support. Fuck his ass. Straight up. He, bitch, I don't know why the fuck you looking at me like that. That nigga won't go buy his whole stuff before his mother. That little boy is a scorned black woman. That's what that's what he is. That little boy is a this little boy right here. This little boy right here is a scorned black woman. I won't even, you know what, sisters, I'm not even going to put it on a scorned black woman, a scorned woman, period. That's what he sound like. Crazy. I'm going to put that motherfucker on child support. Fuck his ass. Straight up. He when I watch this video, y'all, pardon me for a second, because now, I'm, you know what I'm saying, the blood is boiling. When I watch this video, video, my blood was boiling. And the first thing I said to myself is, I want to ask y'all, I want y'all participation a little bit. When I saw this video, the first thing I said is, I would smack the spit out that little boy's mouth with the front of my hand, then turn to give him the back of my hand right after. That's the first reaction that I had. I was like, yo, I'm going to smack him open-handed with the front of my hand, and then turn my hand to the back and smack his behind again. But then I had to catch myself and say, yo, you know what, Dan, you know what? That's not necessarily the answer. Now. The scriptures do speak about discipline in children, but now I have to ask y'all, help me out. As we listen to this little boy talking, is putting hands on him, is smacking him, is that really going to help? Is it really his fault that he's talking like this? Help me out in the comment, boys. If you think that just smacking his child and beating him and everything is going to change him, put one in the comment, boys. If you think that that's not going to help, this child needs something else, I want y'all to put two in the comment boards. In the beginning, I was a one. When I first watched this video, I was a one. I said I want to smack the spit out this little boy's mouth. But I sat back and I thought about it, and I said he is a product of the adults that he sees every day. And he needs, I, I need about 30 days to break that dude. And it ain't going to be just me beating him either. He just needs 30 days around a real man to break them. Although the scriptures tell us that we can discipline our children, sometimes just simply disciplining your child by hitting them all the time doesn't help. Sometimes you have to re really look at the root cause of why our children act the way they act. They act the way they act because of the damn parents, man. Two reasons. Number one, because there's no man in the house to put down. Put No, really three reasons. Three reasons. Either there's no man in the house to put down discipline with that child, so that child learns how to be a man. He's a boy. And he's a, he can only a man can teach him to be a man to a certain extent. That's number one. Number two, there's a new breed of thing going on in the, in the earth nowadays. I speak to a lot of men that say that the even that, that live with the child that says the mother will not allow the father to discipline the child. Don't hit my son. Don't yell at my son. That's going on nowadays too. That's going on nowadays, too. And then when a child, once a child passes 12 years old, good luck trying to change them. Good luck. 
Good luck. Okay? That's what's going on. Or number three, there's simply no father around. Anyway, let's go on. Let's watch this again. Let's move on to the next one. Bitch, I don't know why the fuck you looking at me like that. That nigga won't go buy his whole stuff before his motherfucking child. Put that nigga on child support. Fuck him. Man, this dude sounds like a female. He, he, he sounds like a female. He, he really just sounds like a female. It's crazy. Put that nigga on child support. No, you shut the fuck up, bitch. Right. Who is he talking to? Do y'all do understand what's happening here? There is an adult behind the camera that he's telling to STFU. Y'all know what that means. That's the acronym. STFU. Shut the fuck up. There's an adult behind the camera this child is talking to with no fear. Crazy. Shut the fuck up. He don't want to go buy you shit, but he want to go buy these hard shit. So put the on child support. Yeah, I've got that to get that bitch. I ain't fucking with that. Shut the fuck up. I ain't asked you to fuck with it, bitch. What? What? My motherfucking response. Not to. Now, you know, <laughs> I'm just, I'm a, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna torture y'all. We ain't gonna watch that again. That's that's it's, it's y'all get the point, right? Y'all get the point? Let's move on. Just one more. Just one more. <laughs> one more. Right? Now, y'all see the title of the video? The person that uploaded this video called this video Funny Hood Kids Cursing Compilation. Believe me when I tell you it wasn't a child that uploaded. This is an adult that thinks what we're about to watch is funny. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, right now that this little kid that's on the screen right now, at the rate he's going, I'm about to play it for you. At the rate this child is going, he will be on the six o'clock news. Not too long from now. And Negroes is going to be crying that the police shot this, this, this child down, shot him down. Negroes is going to be marching, talking about no justice, no peace. But I'm going to ask y'all, I'm going to ask y'all, if the police, and this is a tough question. This is a tough question. This is tough love today. Tough, tough. Y'all see the title? Menstruous women giving, bringing forth monsters. What y'all thought that was talking about the Loch Ness Monster? No. These children, they're monsters. Why? Because a lot of them don't have no fathers or no male figures in their life, or the male figures that are in their life are niggers. They're straight up niggers with no knowledge, nothing whatsoever. That's why we go out in the streets. We got to be hardcore, man. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. When we go out in the streets and we teach, or if you're not a street teacher, when you teach your people about being Israel, Israel, brothers, focus on the youth, man. Focus on, we need to get these kids. A lot of these children need guidance and they don't have it. Look at them. This kid right here that's on the screen I'm about to play for you right now, this child is a statistic waiting to happen. And this particular child, now the video before this, the child sounded like a scorned female, right? I said that. This kid right here definitely sounds like he has a male influence in his life because he sounds like a retarded no good Negro. That's how he sounds. Let's play the video. Just watch. I'm telling y'all, this kid right here is six o'clock news waiting to happen. Listen. Wait, wait. Do y'all see that? Without talking. Y'all missed that. He didn't even talk. Watch the way the video starts. Watch again. Watch. <laughs> Show me again. Boom, boom, I'm gonna pop your ass. Stop playing with me. When y'all go to my house, I'm gonna skirt, skirt, pop your ass. <laughs> that wrong. Y'all gonna be gay on the I'm gonna take y'all all of y'all money. Stop playing with me. I'm gonna pop your ass. Well, let's see. He a ramen with ass nigga. Mm-mm. Little chicken. Pop your ass. Wait, wait. So, 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 did 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 y'all did y'all see that? Like, that's not a. He don't sound. This one don't sound like a female. That sounds like a dude. So there's some male, whether it's a teenager or an adult, that he is talking like this. I'ma pop your ass. I'ma pop your ass. I'ma take all your stuff and pop your ass. That's not a female. That's a dude. 
Because dudes out here, a lot of you, a lot of you dudes, man, you raise your sons up to be little Negroes, man, little monsters too. Why do y'all think it is in gang culture? Gang culture is generational. You got the when you go to California, you start dealing with the Crips and the Bloods. You got generational gang members. You got the grandfather, the father, the son, and the grandson. All of them are Crips. Generational on down. All of them are Bloods. Generational on down. They pass that curse on to their children. That's what we're doing as a people. That's what you're seeing right here. This child didn't learn this on his own. He's watching adults talk like this. This is I'm crazy. Gonna scale, so I'm going to take y all, all y'all money. I'm playing with me. I'm going to pop y'all up. Well, see, he a ramen with ass nigga. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Pop sad. Sad, 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 sad. Watch the next one. Social media is one of the best things that happened to our people because we're allowed to proliferate the truth through social media. But social media is one of the worst things that happened to our people because black people, so-called Hispanic people, Israelites, our people, we have gone to social media and we have shown the world our hindermost parts, our behinds, our ass. We showed the world our ass. Everything from World Star to Instagram to Snapchat, to Facebook, to YouTube, we have showed the world just how degenerate we really are. When you read the book of Lamentations, the second chapter, the Most High says how the nations pass us by and they look at us and they say, is this the excellency of glory? I'm, I'm paraphrasing. These are the Most High's holy people. Look at them. Look at them. I can't even be mad about that. I'm looking at the condition of our people it is, and our children are a reflection of us. One of the elders used to say, one of the elders, Elder Yeshaya, used to say back in the days, you know, we used to all laugh at the saying, but it's a true, it's a true saying. Elder Yeshaya used to say, if you follow a stupid child home, somebody stupid is going to answer the door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I found that for the most part to be a true statement because, yo, our children are a reflection of us. What you see these children doing in this video the way that you see these children talking in this video, it is a reflection of the parents or the adults that they are around that think this is cute. So much so that they will actually pull out their cell phone, film it, and put it on social media for laughs. That's why the video is called Funny Hood Kids. What was funny about that little boy brandishing, even though it was a toy gun? Even though it was a toy gun? If you're not from New York, you don't know the story, but back in the 90s, you had, I forgot the guy's name, the child, the kid's name, but you had one of the kids in New York City in Brooklyn. I forget the name of the case. If you know the case, you could you could uh, put it in the comment boards. He had a toy gun on him and the police gunned him down. They gunned him down. And it was a big debate in New York about whether or not toy stores should stop selling toy guns to children because of that. Now, if a police officer pulls up on that last child that we saw, this child right here, if the police officers pull up on this child right here that has this gun that's pointed to the camera, right? If the police officers pull up on this child and shoot him, what do we what, what should we say? What should we say? I'm gonna ask y'all. I'm gonna ask y'all. Let's watch this one more time and then we're gonna move on. I know I'm kind of repeating, right? I wanna ask y'all a question. Watch this video and I wanna ask y'all a question. If a police officer pulls up on his child and shoots him down, what do we say? Should we march? If you think we should march and protest, put one. If you think we should march, just watch. Show me again. Boom, boom, I'm gonna pop y'all. Stop playing with me. When y'all go to my house, I'm gonna skirt, skirt, pop your ass. <laughs> that rhyme. 
Y'all gonna be dead on so I'm gonna go take y'all. So now I ask again. If the police... Now, my sister Tamika Yever, I see you in the comments. You know, shout out to you. Um, I want to say this about I want to say this about what you just said. You said that the media, this is what the media shows, but that's not necessarily true. What I'm showing you, the media didn't upload this. We did. We uploaded this. The media didn't upload this. This is not on the six o'clock news. We're uploading the stuff to YouTube. We're uploading this stuff to Worldstar. We're doing it. Who's forcing us to put ourselves out here like this? Who's doing it? Listen, the white man is the devil. You know, I believe that 100%. But can we actually blame white people for this? Am I wrong? Family, am I wrong? Is this white people's fault? If I'm wrong, put one in the comment boards. If this is really white folks, if this is white people's fault and I'm going off, I want y'all to put one in the comment board and let me know I'm going off. I don't blame the white man for this. I blame the white man for a lot of stuff. I don't blame the white man for this. This is all us. But if I'm wrong, I'll accept that y'all think I'm wrong. If you think I'm wrong, put one in the comment board. Let's go. What are you doing now? What? Putting this bitch up. Oh my god. Why did you do that to her? I fucked that bitch up. What? What's her name? Keisha. I thought you just said her name was Shirley. Because Shirley is fucking gay. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Did y'all... <laughs> y'all missed that. Look at it again. What's her name? Keisha. I thought you just said her name was Shirley. Because Shirley is fucking gay. <laughs> okay, so how old is Keisha? Nine months. She ugly. Fuck you, bitch. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. I'm not fucking gay. She fucking dead. Look, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. Who are you? Make me my ass, bitch. You already know. You ready to fucking die? No. Yeah, I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. How old is this chick? How old is this little girl? What y'all think? 11? 12? 11, 12? 10, 11, 12? And she's a bad bitch. Where'd she get that from? Where's she getting that from? She ain't getting that from the media. She's not getting that from nobody else, but she's watching other females, and that's what they say. That's what they post on social media. That's what they do. Because that's what's important nowadays to our people is to be a bad bitch. That's what's important. That's their priority is to be a bad bitch. And what, what happens to bad bitches? They get with simple, ignorant, nothing knowing Negroes and push out a lot of children. And then they don't, they don't have the, the man leaves or the family's broken. You see, this is what's going on with our people, man. Come on. It's, the, it's us. It's us. It's us. It's us. And we have to have these conversations amongst each other, man. Like I said before, we could blame the white man for a lot of stuff. And he's guilty of a lot of stuff. But this stuff right here, this is all us. And this is what we are fighting against. When you go on, when I go on Instagram, this is all I see up and down my timeline. This is all I see. I have two Facebook pages. I have my Facebook page where I communicate with Israel. And I have my Facebook page that I had... You know, you know, I give it to people that I work with, whatever they want to be. You know what I'm saying? I give it to them. And what I see on that other Facebook page, that's all I see. That's all I see. That's the priority of everybody is to be a bad bitch. That's it. To live your best life or fake it for social media. You know what I'm saying? On social media, life is going great. But once the camera goes off, you're still in the projects. You can't pay your bills. The same problems. So we got to keep it real with our people, man. We got to keep it real with our people, for real. This is this is sad. This is sad. But again, I have to ask y'all, this little girl right here, where is she getting this from? She ain't calling herself a bad bitch because she came out the womb saying that. She's calling herself that because that's what the females around her are saying. That's the way they're acting. So she's mimicking it because she thinks that is normal behavior. And somebody thinks it's it's funny. That's why they uploaded to YouTube. Are you Iggy Azalea? 
What the fuck are you doing? Bitch! He look just like Iggy Azalea. Don't fucking call me that a bitch! Okay, I know how you look, Justin Bieber. Wait a minute. So now, the person behind the camera, this child is calling the person behind the camera a bitch. Why? Because how do females address each other nowadays? Not females in the truth, but the ones in the world. How do they address each other? They address each other by the name bitch. That's like nowadays, it's like the, it's, it's, it's a, a female's first name. That's your first name. You wear that title with pride. It's sad. And this child is a product of the adults that she's around. Let's go. I got you front row tickets to his concert. And you know what? Um, the Lions Den, I see your comment. You're 100% right. And let me say this, right? You know, how many, you know how many messages I get from YouTube about my videos? About how my videos don't meet the YouTube community guidelines and standards and stuff like that? My videos. I'm not, do, I'm not putting up none of this stuff. This video has almost 200,000 views. Most likely the video is monetized, which means the person that put this video up is actually getting a check every month. Every time somebody watches it, they're getting a check every month for this garbage right here. Meanwhile, us as Israelites, we our channels get flagged and taken down. Do y'all know how many channels I lost? Y'all know how many channels I lost? That's why I'm kind of careful what I do on this channel. I've lost many channels with me teaching. My original Priest Daniel uh, YouTube page I came out with in what, 2008, 2009, that was taken down. Then I had a video, a page called Priest Daniela 1, taken down. Priest Daniela 2. All I was doing was showing myself a camp teaching. That's it. It got taken down. This crap could be up here. You got gang banging, twerking, all types of stuff up here. Never gets filed YouTube uh, strikes, never gets YouTube taken down, nothing. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man. Are you excited for Justin's concert? Yes. I really didn't get you tickets. Bitch. Let's see what this is. I didn't watch the whole video yet. Okay. Okay. Where did that little girl learn that? Where she, where she, where did she see that? Where did she learn to turn her behind around to the camera and shit? Where, where did she learn that? I'm just curious. Let's go. I think y'all get the point, man. I'm not going to belabor. I'm not going to belabor the point. But I don't I don't understand. Like, who just, just even looking at this, who uploads this? Who does that? This is, this is just basically our... It's basically showing our people are degenerate. And it reflects in our children nowadays. Not all of our children, but we all know... Children in some way or, or shape or form, it's like this. We all know people that have children that they won't even discipline their children because America tells you you can't discipline your children. Not only do America tell you that you can't spank your children, you can't even raise your voice to children nowadays. They say that that scars a child. When a child gets older, they'll, they'll, they'll be uh, scarred because you yelled at them, because you punished them, whatever, whatever. They want you to treat your child as though your child. No, you, gotta, you have to set boundaries for children. You have to set boundaries for children. And there's certain things that your children should not observe or see you doing. Period. You know what I'm saying? When I was a, when I was a youth, I remember my mother, my father telling me to leave the room at certain times. When certain adult conversations were going to happen so that I didn't witness that. But we've lost that as a people, man. You know, it's really, really, really sad. Leader for Christ said state property is sad, but that's what this is. And all this stuff does, man, is from, from, from the cradle all the way through the school system is basically just grooming and preparing, especially the males, to end up in the prison system. That's all it is. 
It's to feed the imprisoned industrial complex. That's what it's about. That's what rap music is about nowadays. All of that, that's what they're promoting. It's promoting the homosexual and lesbian agenda. And also, it's also pushing the criminal agenda. That's what it's pushing. That's what you see. And it's sad. And a lot of times, again, like I said, when you look now at, like, for instance, let's talk a little bit about rap music real quick. And I'm about to be out because I really was just doing this for, um, I really just um, doing this basically to test out this program. But y'all see a lot of these rappers today? Y'all see the the Takashi Six Nines, the Trippy Reds, the Little Pumps, the Little Zans, the Migos, and uh, 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 what's this Young Thug and the rest of these dudes? Do y'all see a lot of these effeminate looking, um, looking like they're on drugs? Do y'all see the way these rappers look? These are the children of the rappers of the '90s. In the 90s, a lot of these rappers, they were what? Drug dealers, right? They were drug dealers, a lot of them. From NWA on up, everybody was a damn drug dealer. Now their children are now the ones coming out being rappers. Now your children are drug addicts. We went from being drug dealers in rap music to now being drug addicts. Who names himself Little Xan, short for Xanax? Who does that? Who does that? You have a guy by the name of, um, what is his name, Trinidad James that made a song about popping mollies. And it was a huge hit. You know what happens when you pop mollies? You wake up in the morning and you lay next to a man. As a man. You a man, pop a molly or pop some ecstasy. And a lot of times you wake up the next day laying next to a man. And a lot of these rappers is telling on each other. I remember when DMX and Ja Rule was beefing, they was telling on each other. Both of them was telling on how each other was, was, was sleeping with men on the low. That's why they killed Pimp C. I always say that. That's why they killed Pimp C. I'm about to be out of here. But listen, when y'all get a chance, since y'all on YouTube now, I'm about to end my stream, right? I want you to put in the YouTube search, Pimp C exposes Puff Daddy and Russell Simmons. Put that in your YouTube search. Let me put that in there for y'all so y'all can see. Let's see what comes up. Now, I want you to listen to this interview by Pimp C. Yeah, see that? It came up in the search. Pimp C exposes Russell Simmons. Y'all definitely want to listen to all these interviews when this dude was on the radio talking about Russell Simmons, Puff Daddy, Young Jeezy, and the rest of these dudes in the rap industry, how all these dudes is homosexuals. Let me tell y'all something, man. This is my personal belief. They killed Pimp C. They say that he died of an overdose of some damn... What they say he was on some, what they call that, um, syrup, was it syrup, whatever. Y'all younger brothers, y'all know what I'm talking about. They say that he was drinking some syrup or whatever like that, which is the cough medicine with the, um, with the, with the alcohol or whatever the hell these dudes was doing. They say he died. Now he was in a room with some prostitute or whatever. That's what they say. And she found him dead the next day or whatever the story is. And he had overdosed on some, um, syrup or whatever the hell that shit was. I don't believe that. Uh, listen to this interview and ask yourself when you're done, do you believe that? This dude was in the industry, but he was not of the industry. You know how the Bible says, be in the world, but not of the world? We live in this world, but we're not of the world. We don't participate in the wickedness of this world. This dude was in the industry, but he was not of the industry. And he, before he died, he outed everybody. Next thing you know, this dude winds up dead. I believe they killed him. I believe they killed him. You see what I'm saying? Because there's an agenda in rap music that's being pushed. That's why I want to shout out all the brothers that's doing this truth music. And y'all need to support that thing, man. Y'all need to support truth music. Brothers like Asha Sha'ala, Deacon Sakari, um, Deacon Sakari. I'm not even going to say support me. Y'all know I have my album out. Y'all ain't got to support me. But support truth music, man. We got to counteract what's out here. Because this is crazy, family, for real. For real, for real, all right? Um, Lions Den, I see you. You said that you tried to reach out to me. If you sent me an email and I didn't see it, I apologize, Lord. Send me another one. Maccabees TV at gmail.com. Send me another one. I apologize if I didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of stuff going on. But I will check right now within the next 10 minutes. If you send me another email, I'll check right now. All right, Brother Ben, you asked the question, so let's do it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Here we go. So, Brother Ben asked, so here you go. 
Um, this is my website. Wake up Jacob 12. This is my website. Um, y'all can see the tabs at the top. You know what I'm saying? We have the men's apparel. Y'all can see the shirts, the hats that I, you see me wearing, the you know, the tribe of Benjamin hat, the shirts, whatever like that. Right here on the left, this is my album right here. It's called War Hymns, right? And one of the tabs at the top of the screen says music. So you hit the tab that says music and um, you can download the album, okay? So that's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank everybody for coming on the stream today. I really, really was just testing out this new software that I'm working with. I'm trying to make it stuff look a little more professional than um, it's been looking. So bear with me. I appreciate everybody coming on in the afternoon. I know a lot of people are at work, so they didn't really get a chance to catch this. Um, <clears throat> I'll be back soon. I'm going to continue working with the software. And um, since the brother, you know what I'm saying, wants to know about the music, the live stream is over, family. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to um, play a song from the album, my latest, my latest music video I did. Some of y'all saw it. Some of y'all didn't see it. If you didn't see it, I'm going to play my latest music video for you. If you did see it, then you ain't got to watch. Or you can watch it again. You know what I'm talking about? But I love everybody. Thank y'all for coming on once again. Uh, Lions Den of Israel, like I said, reach out to me. And I'll definitely get back to you if you reach out to me ASAP. All right? Reach out to me ASAP. With that being said, this is my new video, Chant Down Babylon, featuring our brother, Master Herbalist Patrick Dell. Shout out to him for being in the video with me. Also, shout out to my wife, Malika Benjamin. If you watch the entire video, my wife is in the second half of the video. With that, I'm going to play the video and I'm going to end the live stream. I say shalom and peace to everybody. Also, family, please make sure you like this video right now. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the video. And we'll definitely be back real soon. With that, I'm going to end off with my video. And yes, 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 for those of y'all that are asking, I have not forgotten about my PowerPoint. I haven't forgot about my Papua. Just been busy. Just been busy. I haven't had a chance to edit it. It is coming. With that, I say shalom. Here's the video, and I'm going to be out. Peace, peace, peace. Brother Patrick, what's good? I saw your video, man. It's all about the American vibe, but you got to put some Caribbean vibe in the video right now, man. Bless. Boom. You got it. Coming up, Caribbean style, you know how we do. Peace out. Yo, you know how we do, Yashala. Shout out to all Israel. Bringing his troops in. Can come preach to Yala. Gonna drop this word. We got to see what we coming through. So if you feel how I feel, then what the hell you going to do? And his holy prophets As I chant down Babylon Load up my magazine Burn down this wicked place Your past hit some gasoline And where my real soldiers at The time is now There's nothing that can hold us back Maccabees Alliance We do what real leaders do Burn Christianity And that white Jesus too Can't wait I represent the risen savior While the devil gets rich Off of prison labor Burn them up Burn them up Don't call it sudden death Of the house of Esau was awful in the ancient of days with hair like pure wool clothed in white linen so i walked towards the light yeah. and i saw you how a shot who yeah. was seated by his right hand the prophet daniel described it so vivid that the kingdom is ours and god is going to give it back chant down wickedness and everything your alibis cry aloud spin not and no i don't apologize I pray for the dying youth, a war machine, but I ain't got an iron suit hunting down traitors cause I ain't got a sore spot, so where's the politicians at, where's past the pork shot, yeah, the Christian church lies to me, homeland security, they violate my privacy, CIA, FBI, they ain't got nothing on me, biblical prophecy, so here comes the Russian army, we got them scared when we coming through, so if you feel how I feel, then what the hell you gonna do, hey,
you know, Esau's finished. This world is going down. Priest and y'all already dropped it on you. So we say it's true. Kum Yashahala. Israel in the building. All praises to the Most High. Something to uplift your spirit. Turn your radios all the way up. Roll your windows down. Towel in easily or take a second look to see what life is teaching me and embrace it boldly. No rush, I take it slowly. If I go off the path, then I pray he show me. I was blessed with talents and I accept the challenge. Life's a tightrope walk, somehow I kept it balanced. And when he tried to wear me, I knew that y'all would spare me. I kept the law, I'm not sure that some of y'all could hear me. But I'm not surprised, failure is not advised. Can't walk a mile in my shoes, my man, they're not your size. Take these words and share it, go let your mother hear it. If he's down, hook the song, he lift up brother's spirit. And to the precious sisters, music was made to lift us. Touch our spirit at times, if it's based in scriptures. And never say that your hope is done. Your faith is built, every obstacle you overcome. Count your blessings, cause life is a precious gift. Praise to Yahweh and the greatest king that ever lived. See, this truth makes me high. I'm a rocket till I die. I take my wings and fly high. You can't wear me down. This lonely road is very long. I pray your heart will keep me strong. Cause with him there can be no wrong. You can't wear me down. 